<laughs> I can't believe it. Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flitter Mouse. Today we have some 3D printed bronze filled shotgun slugs. There are 70 caliber, almost 2 inches long, and they weigh about 21 grams each. They are considerably heavier than a plastic fill used normally in 3D printing. And you can see, compared to a 50 cal bullet, these things are huge. We'll be loading these into a 12 gauge Federal birdshot shell. Lots of power there, and they should scream if they survive. Now you may remember the teardrop bronze filled slug that we shot a few months ago. This is the same guy that created these. He created a nice bright green Sabo system for these, and that all it does is just fill the space so that small round will travel straight through the barrel of the big shotgun. Now you've seen some of the really big projectiles that we've shot out of a shotgun and most of the time they don't fly very straight. They're just too big. So let's see if we have any luck today. Wow! <laughs> I don't know about you but I'm terrified. That 3D printing it makes bullet making so easy and terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. It went through it. It went right where I was aiming. That's amazing. Aiming here. Yeah. That's close. And it's a round hole. Damn. Wow. Put your finger through there. Woo! Okay. And then it it kept going right through our plywood up the I think it was this one. That's some thick plywood too. That's almost an like eighth of an inch thick. <laughs> oh boy. I forgot to shower today. <laughs> Wow. It, it blew up the back here. This is all new, Darren. Oh, it did? Oh, it did. Holy crap. The water <sighs> twisted when it hit. And now the 3D printed Super Dart. Yeah, I hit it, Darren. There's a flame that shot out the end of my barrel. You hit it. Yeah. With something. Okay, that's where it hit. That's the back side of it. Wow. It had little, it had little, little fins on there, but it's stuck in there very tight. We'll have to use some, some sort of mechanical tooling to remove it. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think these rounds would hold together. The G shock of accelerating out of a shotgun could be pretty stressful, and we were just amazed that every shot that Darren made was actually on target. We didn't expect that. We brought out some of the Big Blast targets, which is a special cap that goes on a two liter bottle and you pressurize it to about 100 PSI. And those things were as loud as the shotgun. The black powder is um, just black chalk. And you can buy that at like Home Depot for chalk lines. Now I've been saving these 3D printed bronze filled slugs for a long time, for several months. And I was waiting until we had some kind of uh, rifled system to shoot them through. And we were using our Benelli Nova with a rifled choke tube to give that bullet a little bit of a spin. Even though the slugs are spinning, they're still tumbling around for the most part. And you'll see in some shots where there were actually parts of the slug broken away. This one seemed to survive in one piece though. Two of the slugs had yellow tape around there which acted like a slip ring to engage the rifling of the choke tube. And then finally we have this crazy little 3D printed Sabo dart and we were just cracking up that that thing even worked. Because it was really tail heavy but the big fins apparently gave it enough drag to fly somewhat straight. Now, mind you, we had shot some other uh, exotic rounds that day and we're having a really bad day. Lots of failures. And was, we were just overjoyed that something was finally working.
I asked Nemestade if I could use his song in a video, and he said, sure. So thank you. It's always nice to ask permission, isn't it? Hey, I just recently discovered a channel called Sea and Arsenal. Currently, they're doing a series of World War I firearms. You'll be seeing a bunch of guns that you may not have ever even heard of, and you'll see how they function, what their purpose was, what their strengths were, what their weaknesses were, how they were developed, the history of the guy that invented them. And it's all done in a very easy to understand, very watchable and enjoyable format. So not only do they show you the guns on a bench top, they also take them out and shoot them. And many of the guns they use are actual museum pieces. And then afterwards they evaluate the gun, tell you what it's like shooting, whether it would be a good gun to carry into combat or not. I really recommend this channel. Go check them out. Good. Well, uh, again, notifications are going to be after the credits, and we're really glad that you guys tune in and watch this show. Uh, we're getting a lot of love. We appreciate it every day. Yeah, thanks, guys.